peace and welcoming to the Ogono Art Family. So this will be a part three on how I study art. And each part is a standalone, so you wouldn't need to watch them in order. So this will be a more advanced or intermediate level of studying. So I'd recommend to have like a basic understanding of anatomy, uh, proportions, because it may get uh, complicated. It may get complicated or it may complicate things for a beginner if you're just like looking at this for for a start so in proportions there's this concept of dividing the human the human figure into the eight head figure model and i made a tutorial on proportions and you can practice that for a couple of weeks you know and you can look at some uh, some basic anatomy tutorials on youtube so what we'll dive into today will be like proportionception or you know micro proportions you know so this is like a self-discovered concept that helps me dive deeper into understanding anatomy and structure in the faces etc and so this level of, of anatomy can help you recall anatomy from memory to get uh, faster at producing artwork so in this you'll want to know you want to have an understanding of how to divide cylinders for example how to how to make how to divide things easily so right here i have a, an example of a cylinder and you can see how like these are you know these are similar shape however you can see how i'm dividing this into threes and i'm dividing this into into twos and you can keep doing you can keep dividing this and dividing this you know into like into sixes or so but you know i'd recommend to understand how to divide it to like to one to twos I mean one to fours or so but you know but in this example I'm going to be dividing things into threes like how this is here so you may want to have like a, a easier understanding of this of how to do this so and with an understanding of uh, anatomy you'll understand that this is the deltoid muscle and what I have here to help me remember it is I divided I divided the deltoid muscle into th three different sections and I have the chest muscle go into the the second section of the deltoid muscle uh, just a mental note so I make sure it's not going into the the first section or the third section or whatever I make sure that it's like at the line here of where the the second section of the deltoid muscle is you know so this is why this is how i use the divisions to divide things to help uh to help uh with uh studies so with my studies so in this example right here you can see that again i divide the chest into three different sections okay and since i divide it into three different sections i have for the first section i have the deltoid muscle coming out of the first section right here so you can kind of you can see that here so I have just the arm the back of this arm just show up for the first one and let's say that you were just doing this from from a memory or so you may make a mistake have this muscle come from the third section of the chest muscle or so so this is why I feel this will be uh, useful and so I even have how how this deltoid muscle right here I'm I use this uh, green highlight like this deltoid muscle here this you see this like grass green highlight and I make sure to just align it with the middle of the chest muscle so I make all these uh, indentation all these all these marks and so when I ever when I ever want to like go back to like my studies or so, I can always look into this and see how everything is placed, you know. And then after I practice drawing this angle over and over again for, for uh, in the sketchbook, so that I could have it in my visual library. And so, yeah, you see me like just dividing into three different sections so the chest is divided into three sections this ab area is divided into three section uh, you can see the trapezius in the back etc but I'm just dividing things into like three different sections and so another thing I like to do is uh, if you notice you'll see that I have different colored markings here 
and I the reason why I have a different different colored markings here is to help me to memorize these things better like to stay on topic so I just have like a, a set of these four highlight markers and a pen and and a pencil and uh, and the inks it's just to have just different uh, different colors for organ to organize everything so let's say for example this here to stay on topic of this is what I'm talking about I am I'm using the uh, the I'm just using the purple marker for this because this is one this is one topic and this topic is just the chest is going into the deltoid muscle at section two so this is just one topic and another topic would be for example this green marking here this is another this is another topic that's showing how this fist is being aligned here right here to the to the uh the chin area you know so these are different uh markings and this is why i use different highlights it's just to stay on topic and to make things less confusing and so you can see how i'm dividing like everything into uh three sections for example the the top head here sometimes i'm i'm going four but most of the times i like to keep it divided into threes so you can see how this is divided into three sections here etc so i i always look to dividing it into three different sections and like i said before you can see how i i'm using different uh, markers for this topic here so you can see how this here is also aligned with the top parts here so you can see how at the end of this chin the, this chin bone here it bends into the uh, two into uh, number one and right here you can see how I have these separated so there's one orange there's like two different oranges just to make sure that these two this to make sure just to keep a note that these two align with each other you know and I have this green marking here to make sure to see to uh to have a note that the nose the nose here is like somewhat near the edge somewhat near the edge of the chin you know so these are just the markings that I make and I'll definitely I would definitely recommend to draw these yourself because since you're the one drawing it you're the one who drew it you'll have a easier time remembering the things that you're studying from it at least that's how it is for me and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching uh, consider subscribing and clicking the the bell button right next to it to get notified when I upload new videos and yeah that will be the video peace out